Hello Eurovision fans, thank you so much for coming to my channel Eurovision Histories. Yesterday we had another day of rehearsals, including the big favorite Kadia and also Noah Kirel. Everyone was really excited to see her staging, kind of because they hyped it up also. But um, I want to review the very short rehearsal clips we had on TikTok and also the few photos we got. So maybe don't overinterpret what I'm saying because it's really just tiny, tiny snippets. But still, there are some things we can analyze and I want to do that now. First of all, Noah Kirel has brought some kind of a disco box, I guess. And this seems to be the year of the box. Lorene is on a box, Noah Kirel is in a box, and Kedia, we will see that later, is smashing a box. Not sure whether that is a metaphor for what is going to happen on final night. So Noah has an interesting outfit, I think. She loses the pants later on in the performance because she might have to because of the dance break that is happening. There are some really, really impressive dance moves happening. One photo that she published herself, she kind of leaked her own rehearsal, uh, looked like she was almost going to uh, like break her neck. And that was a bit scary almost to see. So I think it's going to be quite impressive. I'm not 100% sure this is enough to lift the song up to a sphere where it is actually in contention to win. I don't think that will happen. And I think that the dance break might channel Chanel a bit too much. And those viewers that remember Chanel from last year, and I think that will be quite a few, might not be too happy to see her, what some people might think is copying Chanel a little bit. Then we had Azerbaijan. They are in two very colorful suits, different colors. And yeah, they look kind of 70s. The song sounds 90s. So I guess they need something 80s now to get the pictures right. But um, otherwise, it's quite static. It's a bit boring, to be honest. Sorry, Azerbaijan. I don't see this qualifying and I don't have anything more to say, to be honest about it, which is not a good sign. Then Czechia. Everyone was really worried about this because they sounded a bit ropey sometimes in the pre-parties and the performance in the national final wasn't as impressive as the music video. However, they came up with a great staging. I think they are all in light pink suits. They have uh, long pigtails or ponytails. I'm not sure what the word is in English. Um, and they're using them to in their performance and in their choreography. And I think the smartest move is putting the we're not your dolls in the background and kind of focusing on the female empowerment message more than the Ukraine message, because I think that is what is going to get them more televotes, because it's just going to be easier for people to understand. And what I could see in that very short clip, and here especially, it sounded really good. So I'm kind of hoping that this will sound and look the same, as impressive as it seems in this clip on the big night. And I really think that they now have a very good chance of qualifying again. I kind of thought they might be a shock qualifier. I don't th see that happening anymore. Now, the Netherlands, another one that people talked a lot about. There was lots of drama in uh, Dutch media. I think they changed the key of the song, even though in the snippet we saw, you can't really hear that. They are in kind of matching outfits, which I wouldn't have done that. I think it's a bit too much to match the outfits. Um, it looks great on him. Her, I would have liked to be a bit more quirky. I don't know. But anyway, it's just the outfit. They are on a turning platform, which I think for the song might be quite smart because, you know, you have the first part of the song where only he sings, then the second part of the song where basically only she sings and then they sing together. And with this rotating thing, I think there are lots of camera angles that can work really well while he's singing and she's in the background, the other way around, and then they come together in the middle singing together. So I do think that the Netherlands found a good staging for this song. Not sure whether it's enough to qualify because it also looks quite dark. But yeah, it's only a short snippet. And from what I saw, it looked quite good. Then, wow, Finland. They leaked their own rehearsal too. And you can kind of understand why. Keria is on a giant box dummy im style. Um, there is shadow, the, the shadow in the LEDs behind him while he's doing the first part, which looks incredible. Then the box under him opens and the cha-cha-cha dancers come out, 
which is also a great idea, I think. I'm a bit worried that the crowd interaction is not going to be very big, and I think he could have profited off that. But anyway, it looks stunning, looks amazing. In the odds, he was 16% winning chance. Now he's at 21 and still increasing, which is still far away from Loreen. But people seem to think that this is in with a chance, and Finland has really pulled out all of the stops. You see here that the dancers are even more weird and scary kind of than in the Finnish national final. He has the same outfit on. I saw that he has a lot of outfits ready for Eurovision. Not sure whether he will put on a different one for the final, which he will reach 100% um, or whether that is for the red carpet. So the iconic, now iconic uh, outfit is back. And yeah, you can see the dancers. I also saw that the human centipede part, as I call it, is a bit more active now, more weirder even. So yeah, well done, Finland. I think this is in with a chance, actually. Then we have Denmark, um, Riley. I was a bit surprised when I saw the video because he has on a really white clothes, but then I realized why. They have a giant prop on stage that turns. It's a bit like Rosalia's without the toilet paper and uh, in many different colors. Here he is in red. Then there's another one in green, I think, and then probably the third one is in blue, but we didn't see that as far as I could tell. Great idea for the staging as well, kind of channeling the music video a bit and adding more layers to this performance, which it really needed. And from the sound of it, it also sounded quite OK. But yeah, could be a borderliner, even though this is in semi two. This is the first one from semi two that we're seeing. Then Armenia, she's on an inclined platform thing. Not quite sure what this is supposed to add to the performance, unfortunately. Um, lots of cool effects on it, but she's basically lying or standing on the inclined platform. I don't know, not 100% sure what exactly the effect is. Maybe we will see it on TV much more um, impactfully, but from the short clip, I couldn't really tell what the point of it is. She sounded amazing. By the way, Noah Kidel, I forgot to say that, also sounded amazing even in the sound check and doing the dancing. So great, well done. Then Romania, he's um, alone on stage, which I think is great because the Romanian national final performance was way too messy. He's in a yellow suit with shorts, so looks a bit like a schoolboy. And at the beginning, he is alone on stage with his guitar. Also a great choice, I think, because it kind of focuses the whole thing on his voice, which I like really, really much. And then the background, I don't really understand these women in nightgowns, I guess. So if you know what that is all about, let me know in the comments. It is way less sexual, the whole performance, which I think is good. People will not understand what the song is about, which in this case might be positive, actually. And they will focus on his rock voice and him playing the guitar. And I think that is a good choice. Still not sure whether it will qualify. <sighs> I kind of like all of them. I'm noticing Belgium is just so, f it seems so fun. The outfit he has chosen is the best outfit I have seen him in. He has the dancer with him on stage, I think from the music video, doing all kinds of crazy dance things in heels. He has the background, some of the scenes from his music video. He has his singers. This is full of joy and fun and just living life to the fullest. And it's kind of the only really fun entry almost this year. So now I'm thinking this will qualify and he is just a very good performer. Everything I could hear about from the voice from these 10 seconds was actually really, really impressive. So well done, Belgium, as well. Love the outfits, as I said. And another one that I'm really surprised positively about is Cyprus. His stage is impressive. It goes from rain to fire, I think. He's wearing a bit of a one-piece suit, I think, if I remember correctly. I have to check again. I would have put him in something cooler, maybe a leather jacket or something, but okay. Um, and the big question was, can he actually hit these notes? And it seems like he does. It really sounds good in this very short clip. Really impressed. 
and he, of course, uh, has charisma for 10,000 years. So another one that is really going to do quite well, qualify, and then maybe in the final will be forgotten a bit, but really impressive, really good staging. Maybe the song might have worked with a few dancers as well. Not sure. He's alone on stage. But um, yeah, as I said, the voice really, really surprised me in a really positive way. These are my thoughts for number day number two of the rehearsals for Eurovision 2023. Let me know in the comments which one you liked the best and which one you liked the least. I think the one I liked the best is probably Keria and maybe also Belgium and Czechia. The ones I liked the least... I like kind of all of them, kind of. Maybe Romania, but may mostly because of the song. Yeah, all great uh, rehearsals, I think. This is going to be a great, great year. I'm so excited. Subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this one. I'm doing song battles between Eurovision songs, pro contra videos, why a country will win or why it will not win. Lots of uh, lyric interpretations as well. And I love reading your comments, so thank you so much for that. And I'll see you for my next video if you want. <laughs> so see you and bye-bye.